Douche. But now it's a gen, yeah. <laughs> but now it's so easy. With the right, everyone's got a smartphone. You, you, there's apps that you can literally record a podcast on a car journey. There's people mm. that put GoPros on their motorcycle helmets. Just do dawa when doing Uber. Just there's so many dynamic ways to do it. Like I was inspired by certain people, but I'm me. Just yeah. like people will watch me and they'll say, yo, I can take that model and apply it to what I like doing. And that's the key. In There's no there's no kind of fixed way to do it. Yeah, I'd love people to do what I'm doing because I think it, there's a lot of potential in it. But I know there's so much talent within the Ummah. I mean, just the way you guys were, I mean, speaking amongst each other, there's a lot of banter that happens within Muslims. And I think comedy is very important medium that needs to be utilized and put out there because sadly it stays within the four walls of our our rooms and our homes and people don't get to see it in fact a lot of comments that i see by non-muslims is this guy's all right yeah you gotta laugh mate but is this the <laughs> other ones we've got a problem with it's those ones mate you don't believe in this do you no, i never heard this before and that's a problem like why haven't they heard this before? It's mm. because our people are either, you know, depressed in at home thinking everyone hates us and there's nothing that we can do. Or you got people compromising so much that the Dean is not visible. It'll only come out like one tweet after every month or something. Mm. You know what? There's two extremes, bro. There's an mm. extreme of people that, that do what they do and the media puts them. But in fact, the extremism that the MI5 and these people talk about are people that aren't practicing that mm. you do a week before they carry out an attack they're ordering a book called Islam for dummies they don't practice their religion enough mm. and that's an extreme that people hardly ever talk about mm. and I yeah. think that's extremism as well and that's the extremism I'm trying to combat it, the extremism of not having enough knowledge mm. not not the uh, other people because they're not going to be on YouTube learning from Smal to Jannah you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. they're going to be doing their own thing and they need people to cater for them but the people that I'm trying to cater for are people that are on technology. And it's so easy. If you have a personality, you have something at home, it's certain sisters at home. Yeah, and having something that you can contribute to, it will it's very good for your mental health as well. Mm. If mashallah, you have a nice home or something, a big kitchen, sisters are good at cooking. You know what? Make a channel. Yeah, narrate what you're cooking and don't use music and just start with Salaam Alaikum mm. and end with Jazakallah Khair. Teach people how to cook. Yeah, give them little advice and have a little QA in the middle here and there. You can do that. Bang, done. Certain people, mashallah, there's big YouTube channels where kids literally just play with toys, unboxing. But there's so many different ways. So don't mm. think. Uh, Again, I'm not here to advocate the uh, advocate the typical forms of dawah. There's so many. You could literally have your kid there. He's just doing unboxing. You get mm. people sending you toys, and you could just teach your kids certain manners and etiquettes because kids don't have those sorts of manners. Very so good. there's yeah. so much potential. Just make sure that you have a grounding. You're with mm. scholars. You have people of knowledge, and mm. yeah, just there was your oyster.